always the villain, Edmund. Here stood he in the dark, his sharp sword out, mumbling of wicked charms, conjuring the moon. But where is he? Look, sir, I bleed. Where is the villain, Edmund? Fled this way, sir, which by no means By no could. means what? Persuade me to the murder of your lordship. Seeing how loathly opposite I stood to his unnatural purpose. Full suddenly he fled. Let him fly far. Not in this land shall he remain uncaught and found dispatched. He that finds him shall deserve our thanks. That brings that murderous cow to the stake. He which conceals him, death. myself proclaimed and by the happy hollow of a tree escaped the hunt no port is free no place oh, that guard and most unusual vigilance does not attend my taking whilst I may escape I will preserve myself and am bethought to take on the basest and, and most poorest shape that ever penury and contempt of man brought near to beast my face I'll grime with filth, blanket my loins, I'll for all my hair in knots, and with presented nakedness, I'll face the winds and persecutions of the sky. The country gives me proof and president of Bedlam beggars, who with roaring voices strike in their numb and mortified bare arms. Pins, wooden pricks, nails, sprigs of rosemary, and with this horrible object, from low farms, poor pelting villages, sheep coats and mills, sometimes with lunatic bands, and sometimes with prayers, <laughs> enforce their charity. Ah! Oh, poor, poor, darling God! Poor Tom! There's something yet. Edgar, I nothing am. 